Hello friends, welcome back once again. Today we shall look at the signs, symptoms, transmission, prevention and treatment of common diseases in poultry farming. There are many diseases in chickens, but I'll discuss some of the common ones affecting chicken farmers. Stay tuned and watch till the end and we learn together. I will start with coccidiosis, which is a common disease in most farms. And this is a parasitic disease caused by protozoa of the genus Elmelia. It affects the intestinal tract, causing damage and leading to various health issues and even death. Common symptoms include bloody diarrhea, decreased growth rate, decrease in egg production, depression, pale cob and wattles, laughed feathers. Those are some of the those are the symptoms you you find in a, a chicken that has coccidiosis. And this is how it is transmitted. The chicken contract coccidiosis by ingesting parasite eggs present in the feces of infected birds or contaminated environment. So it is advisable to raise your feeders and drinkers up to avoid contamination. You can prevent coccidiosis in your chicken farm by maintaining clean and dry housing and by regular cleaning and disinfecting feeders and drinkers. Also vaccinate your birds. Also stop overcrowding your birds and make sure your feed and water is clean. And this is the treatment of coccidiosis. If coccidiosis is diagnosed, you can treat with anticoccidial drugs like amprorium, sulfox, or ESB, ETC, and there are so many. You can also treat your bird using organic methods like garlic, crush the garlic and mix with their drinking water for five days. You can also use popo leaf powder and mix with their drinking water and give your birds. Also, green tea powder can be used. You can also use charcoal, crush it and mix with their drinking water. The other disease is fall pox and this is a viral disease that is very dangerous and there are two types of fall pox. The first one is the dry fall. The, this affects on the cob, what and allowed the eye and other unfeathered areas. The second one is the wet form, affect the mouth, throat and trachea which can cause difficulty in breathing and eating. The common symptoms include weight loss, laughed feathers, depletion, and falling hence they reduce in egg production. And how is this disease transmitted? Folk pox virus can be spread through direct contact with infected birds mosquitoes or contaminated services this virus can survive for months in dried scabs how can we prevent this disease vaccinating chickens especially in areas where the disease is common also reducing mosquito populations by avoiding stagnant waters allowed your chicken house isolate sick birds can help prevent further transmission, provide a well-balanced diet and clean the woods and minimize stress to your chickens. And this is how you can treat fall pox. The best treatment is vaccinating your birds, but you can also use other antibiotics like ESB, sulfox, 
Also, you can use other organic methods like lemon. You can apply lemon juice on the woods or you can use Colgate paste to apply on the woods. Another disease is infectious coriza, and this is a respiratory disease in chickens that is caused by bacteria and its symptoms are nasal discharge, sneezing, facial swelling around the eyes and upper respiratory system, difficulty in breathing, decreased egg production to the enhance, and there is coughing. And this is how the disease is transmitted. And this is through direct contact through infected birds. It is a nearborn disease transmission, so the chickens can inhale bacteria from the air. Also through feed, water, and also equipment like drinkers, feeders, which are contaminated. And this is how you can prevent the disease is by implementing strict biosecurity measures, maintaining good health practices on the farm. Vaccination can be used to, to prevent infection in high-risk areas. Also, you can isolate the sick birds. You should note that infectious cholesterol is a bacterial disease, not a viral one. And this disease can cause mortality and reduced egg production. And this is how you can treat infectious cholesterol. You can use drugs like doxine, interflux, or any drug with tetracycline. You can also use herbal medicine like ginger, garlic, lemon and honey. Bled well and give to your chickens. Another disease is Newcastle and this is a high contagious viral disease that can cause alleged symptoms on chickens including respiratory distress nervous system issues and changes in egg production and these are the symptoms gasping coughing sneezing and infected chickens may have difficulty breathing and may have coughing or sneezing a lateral sound may be heard during breathing another Symptom is nasal discharge from the nostrils, tremors and convulsions, paralysis, wings, legs or entire body may be paralyzed, twisted neck, then the head may be turned to one side, chicken may walk in circles, also dropping wings, wings may hang down at the sides, greenish, watery, diarrhea, also swearing around the eyes and neck, and loss of appetite and sudden death. And this is how to prevent Newcastle, and this is by vaccination, and also implementing biosecurity measures. Now let us see the treatment of Newcastle. There is no specific treatment for Newcastle disease, but antibiotics can be given three to five days to prevent secondary bacterial infection or use vitamin A. We have also have organic way you can treat Newcastle by giving ash plus aloe vera and pepper, mix them well and give to your birds. Another disease is gubolo and it has no cure and its symptoms are like watery diarrhea, ruffled feathers and dehydration, 
depression, loss of appetite, and white diarrhea that sticks to their butts. And this is how it is transmitted. It is caused by the infectious basal disease virus. The virus can spread through contaminated equipment or contaminated feed and water. And this is how you can prevent guboro in your farm. Vaccinate your birds and observe strict biosecurity practices. How to treat guboro? Guboro has no treatment, but you can use multivitamins, supplement, Antibiotic medication may be indica indicated if secondary bacterial infection occurs. So the best thing is to vaccinate your birds. Another disease is respiratory diseases. And these are infections that affect the respiratory system of birds such as the trachea, lungs and air sacs. They can be caused by various pathogens, including viruses, bacteria, fungi, and these are like infectious bronchitis, avian influenza, and chronic respiratory diseases. And these are the symptoms, sneezing and coughing, gasping or labored breathing, reduced egg production, Decreased appetite, swelling around the eye, discharge from nose and eyes. And this is how you can prevent the disease. And this is by maintaining good hygiene. And that is by cleaning and disinfecting pottery house. Ensuring proper ventilation. Prevent the buildup of dust ammonia and other harmful gases, implement biosecurity measures, also vaccinate your birds, and identifying and treating affected birds. And this is how you can treat your disease, and this is by use of antibiotics for bacterial infections, use antiviral drugs for viral infections, Fungicides for fungal infections. You can also use herbal medicines like turmeric and pepper and give to your bats or garlic. Crush them and mix with drinking water. We also have worms in chickens. And these are internal parasites, parasites like loud worms, tapeworms, and they can affect birds' health. And these are the symptoms, weight loss, diarrhea sometimes, blood, pale cobs and waters, dull or laughed feathers, reduced egg production, visible worms in their droppings. Let us see how chickens get worms. And worms are typically transmitted where birds ingest warm eggs or larva from contaminated dropping soil or litter and this is how you can prevent your chickens from getting worms and this is by keeping hygiene in your chicken houses quarantine new birds and warm them provide a balanced diet to help birds immune system you can treat your birds with worms by buying deworming medicine and it depends on the type of worms. Or you can use natural dewormers like popo seed powder, garlic, pumpkin seeds, charcoal or sour milk. We also have chicken parasites and these are like mites, lice, fleas, they are external parasites, they suck chicken blood causing anemia. And these are signs of parasite infection. And this is pale cobs and waters, poor growth, 
decreased egg production, and also diarrhea. To prevent parasites, maintain clean and disinfect chicken coops. And this is how you can treat parasites by using wood ash and spread to the chicken houses. Thank you so much for being with me. That is all I had for you today. I hope you have learned something. And in case of any question, be free to ask. Thank you so much once again for the returning subscribers. And if you are new to this channel, I'm Esther and the channel name is Esther Farm. Kindly subscribe, like, share, comment. And you can also tell us which country you are watching us from. Goodbye and may God bless you. Abad and tree.